And as you probably already guessed it from the overall thumbnail for this video, we've got some brand new leaks that have been going around the Cookie Run Kino community all day long today while I was at work talking about and discussing the brand new Magic Candies. <music> Right in, ladies and gentlemen, taking a look at the very first one that's going to bring us to Purple Yam's Magic Candy skill. You can see the awesome little picture and description here on the left hand side, but essentially, it's going to be Berserker's Fury. Ravages the battlefield in a deadly purple tornado, causing substantial periodic area damage. Upon utilizing his magic candy, his skill cooldown is reduced. Starting from the beginning of the battle, for every 15 seconds, receives the Berserker's Fury buff. The Berserker Fury's buff stacks up to four times, and after the fourth stack, the Berserker's Spirit buff is activated. Upon stacking Berserker's Fury, Purple Yam Cookie will grow heavier and become less affected by knockback or flying. And to me, that absolutely sounds like a, you know, T-Knight 2.0 style skill. Now, obviously, it does not tell us, you know, what the Berserker's Spirit buff is and how exactly it affects Purple Yam. However, though, we do find out that obviously it's going to make him resistance to knockback. And not only that, it's going to stack up to four times. So very similar to T-Knight Cookie. And not only that, sounds like a very good counter to somebody like Wildberry Cookie. And to show you guys the overall skill here, we've also got another leaked animation, which essentially shows you the skill in action. Shows you the really cool Whirlwind Tornado. I think it looks awesome. Not only that, a second thing to keep in mind is look how much knockback that actually is. It's insane. Once again here, we don't get to see that buff being applied or it being stacked up to four times. And not only that, keep in mind the enemies do not take damage because this is currently only a preview that we'll see in the crafting menu for the overall magic candy. The next one we've got, that's going to be Espresso's magic candy description. Obviously, we've got the coffee bean here in the center of the image, but it says perfect extraction. Precise and even grinding is key for magically delicious coffee. <laughs> magically delicious? They definitely stole that from Lucky Charms. A giant whirlwind inflicts serial area damage to enemies and pulls them to its center, even if they are resistant to interrupts. The final burst inflicts injury and interrupts skills. While Espresso Cookie is using his skill, he will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects, and then the damage is relative to match XP. However, it is capped at 300,000, which is absolutely broken, dude. This absolutely, I can see making Espresso move way higher up in the tier list for PvE, and not only that, more PvP, to be honest with you, because again, we're essentially getting massive burst AoE damage as he had before. However, we're getting an increase probably in damage and stats i would assume and not only that we're now getting a basic you know stun that's going to be interrupting effects we're getting true damage adding to the overall skill and not only that we're getting the brand new debuff injury being applied to his skill which is going to absolutely make him skyrocket in my opinion especially in pvp and to show you guys the overall skill check this out man he pops it off looks very similar to normal we then get this brand new pillar animation with a stun and then last but not least we get that brand new debuff applied that's going to be injury which basically means that the enemies cannot heal up that little chunk of injury and as far as we know injury does have the ability to stack so absolutely going to be insane here for overall espresso and last but not least here we've got for the overall skill descriptions for the magic candy modifications that's going to be vampires as you can see on the left hand side we've got this awesome gruesome vampire image with the overall skill fatal bite it says turn into a bat and attacks the rearmost enemy drinking their blood and restoring some HP, depending on the amount of damage caused. Enemies hit by the skill are inflicted with bleed. When a bleeding enemy is hit by a skill attack, the attack will always result in a critical hit, and then Vampire's regular attack hits the three nearest enemies and restores its HP. And this is going to be the reason why I 100% think that Vampire Cookie is once again going to be topping the charts in the overall guild boss battle, and not only that, stages like World Exploration and Cookie Alliance that are specifically single target and or boss stages absolutely going to be insane we're essentially getting a aoe ability now that hits three individual units it also is going to allow him to heal when utilizing his skill and based on the amount of you know a damage that he does he's going to be healed for more and not only that we've got more here we're also going to be applying a debuff that's called bleed and essentially that has the ability to stack it slowly reduces the enemy's hp for you know however many ticks it has and not only that if that cookie gets or enemy gets hit by any skills with that bleed effect being a applied it will then also provide additional healing for vampire 100 
gonna be broken. I'm calling it now. Check it out, the overall skill animation. You can see here that he's pretty much just gonna be applying that bleed effect. Keep in mind that none of the enemies obviously take damage because once again, this is just gonna be a preview in the overall menu to craft the magic candy. And last but not least here we've got, that's gonna be a preview of the soul cores for every rarity of cookie in the game currently that we're gonna be farming from the brand new game mode masters in world exploration. Once you essentially collect these items, this is going to be what we need in order to further ascend our cookies beyond the five-star promotion. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up our video for today. I just wanted to bring you guys the utmost information that I have surrounding these magic candies that I've seen throughout various communities for Cookie Run Kingdom literally all day long. I'm 100% excited to get in here when the update does drop, get my hands on these magic candies, do some uh, you know initial testing. I think Espresso is going to be climbing up in the overall PvP meta just by the looks of the overall skill. Vampire Cookie, 100% going to be dominating in Eagle Guild Boss and also single target you know units in World Exploration and Cookie Alliance. With that being said, though, you guys let me know what your thoughts are down below on all three of these units. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe here on the channel for everything Cookie Run Kingdom related. And also, guys, also, also don't go anywhere. Always keep in mind, these are just going to be based on leaks and what other people have found out there in the community and have shared through the community. So everything here is subject to change, so don't hold me to it. With that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.